all the listeners, hello. It's another edition of In The Mix Mondays with myself, Light and Lively. I got my Yak radio brother, DJ Woody in the house. Yeah. This thing. You know, I love the way you play. Thank you. It's, it's always like very festive and it just kind of makes you want to move. So I appreciate that. You're welcome. Shout out to DJ Woody. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> we today, um, now let me explain because we were supposed to have a guest. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I don't know what happened to the guest. I can't get in contact with him. I don't know if he's trying to reach me, but if he shows up, he shows up. If not, then, oh well, we'll, uh, do what we came to do. So, tonight, just to let you guys know, the topic is burning bridges and how you know when it's time to cut people off. Chop, chop. <laughs> you know, there comes a point in your life where I guess you just kind of got to say, you know, certain people just don't have any kind of relevance. And when people keep doing certain things and, you know, how much forgiveness is there to go around? I know you're supposed to forgive people for certain things, but you know, we'll just talk about that in a couple of different scenarios. And the phone number, once we get on a topic, if you want to call in, the phone number is 877-760-1422. So now, Woody, this is our first time working together on air. Yes. And I know you've heard the show. So what we normally do is a little recap of you know, what we did over the weekend and what have you. So, care to share? Well, I know your weekend was lit. <laughs> oh, most deaf. Most lit. deaf. Lit. Okay, since we're going to talk about my weekend. Uh, <laughs> right. It was just your weekend. It was my weekend. So, if the listeners aren't tired already of hearing me talk about my birthday, this weekend was the official birthday turn up at Panache in Rosedale. And we pretty much shut it down. So I had a great time. Um, you know, whoever was supposed to be there was there. Whoever can show up, I guess they had their reasons. But I had a good time regardless. So, you know, the music was on point. Shout out to yourself again for getting on the set. Shout out to um, DJ Rams, Club Killer. Yo, hold on. Yes. Before you continue, Rams. Just, yeah. just flip that. Yeah, I, up. it was just. <laughs> yo, you can't even describe it because it was just so crazy. I know. I'm so, gonna start bang, um, I'm gonna hurt my hand. Rams, <laughs> yo, always. my hand hurt from hitting that wall so hard. <laughs> like it was just tune after tune yeah, after it was tune crazy. after tune. Like, you didn't know what to do with yourself. It, it was definitely. I was. I was so happy. I couldn't even continue. I was just like, this is what I'm talking about. I want to kind of recreate that at some point if we can. Okay. Tonight. Um, shout out to who else? Like, um, I don't want to miss anybody. Um, DJ Fresh. Um, yeah, Fresh killed yeah it he killed it too. Fresh killed it. Panache's um, house DJ. Um, just shout out to everybody. Lavette Slater, she did my, you know, I was glammed up because, you know, we have to do that. You know, us girls for the birthday. Um, shout out to Ashley at Night Glam. She did my makeup. Lavette Slater did the hair. Um, you know, just shout out to everybody I could go on and on. Mariella, um, who helped me, my sister Leslie, Miss Sin City, everybody just kind of came together and it worked out. And shout out to Hubby. Thank you for putting up with me. I know I was probably driving everybody crazy. Yo, he was going in with you. Yeah, you know how y'all, y'all was y'all was turned up. <laughs> y'all was really turned up. Well, that was That's the point. Up. That was the point. You know. That's what's up. But the funny thing, I don't even know if I should say this on here, but we usually we do get a, a lot turned up. So you know, I was wearing a dress. You know, so he was like, "Are you gonna wear a dress? Are you sure you want to <laughs> wear a dress?" I'm like, "Don't worry, I have shorts. I got my shorts under the dress." So. You know when he did the lift you know like yeah, <laughs> i don't know if you yeah, caught that but yeah, <laughs> yeah no i was I, I was good i i had something on underneath the dress even though it didn't look like it but it was cool it was cool so shout out to him um who is listening um who else did i say now let me tell you i don't know if any well see you're a guy so i don't know if you understand this but every year for my birthday um i don't go to work who I, wants to go to work no, I don't feel like anybody should work on their birthday. birthday. So I didn't go in. I hope nobody um, is listening. That <laughs> <laughs> somebody gonna rat you out. 
I mean, they already knew what time it was, so I spent the whole day pampering myself. I got a massage. Shout out to Kevin um, for my masseuse for the day. He was on point, and I had like a facial. It was it was cool. It was a very relaxing day. It was meant to be relaxing. So that's what I did. That's what I wanted to do, so I could get ready for the turn up on Saturday. So turn up. Oh, and I have to shout out um, Lakeisha from Ulala Cake Couture. She did my cake. It was awesome. I'm sorry you didn't get a piece of cake. Okay, I'll apologize Word. now. I ain't get no cake. <laughs> Even though you came around and asked me if I wanted a piece of cake like three you know, times. You know what? You should have came to the table because it was, you know, know look. Nah. But you had a cupcake, so you're all right. Yeah. But the cake was gone. I barely got a piece of myself, so... The cake was off the hook. It was red velvet with the cheesecake. It was, it was, oh, it was so good. Anyway, there's no more cake left. But um, no, nah, everything, everything was cool. So it was a successful night, and we all had a good time. Now, um, for those listeners who don't listen on a regular, if we have any new listeners, um, I do this thing <laughs> called set it off. I'm just gonna explain. So this is basically when I kind of um, vent and just get some things off my chest. Certain things that I don't like or something might have happened. Now, there's one thing that really irks me. So Woody, I don't know if you want to join me in this. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I hate the fact that Okay, I know we have new technology and everything, and everybody's always on their phone, but it's like I text you, you know, to call me. Like, I've been trying to call a person, and I'm trying to call them, trying to call them, and they text me right back. I'm like, why can't you just answer the phone? Especially when you're trying to conduct business sometimes, you, you know, you, you have to actually speak to the person to clarify some things. It's called getting done. It's called what? Getting dubbed. <laughs> oh, is that what it's called? No, but I, I mean. I talk to you. No, it's not even that. It's like, okay, I don't want to put anybody on blast, but hairstylists, um, you know, people making, you know, you're trying to conduct a business. If you're supposed to be doing my hair, you know, I need to know certain things, what, what I need to pick up, or, you know, I just kind of want to finalize everything and make sure everything is clear. Sometimes when you text, it's, you know, when it comes to business, you it, things are not always clear, yeah. and things kind of get lost. So, I mean, can we have at least one phone call so we could just, you know, clarify? Some people just rather just touch. Listen, no, it's it's like I forgot some friends that I've had for like years. I forgot what their voice sounds like because they <laughs> it's like text. just text. I'll call. I'm like, how about we have a conversation? Like, does anybody talk anymore? Get that. What up? Question mark. I'm just, I just don't understand. I mean, I understand the technology and everything, but um, uh, we're going to need to get better with that. That's like my only thing for today, surprisingly, because um, I had a pretty good weekend. Pretty good week. Nobody pissed me off too That's much. That's why you ain't ranting tonight. What happened? That's why you ain't ranting tonight, because you be on a rant. I, <laughs> well, you know, um, I think I'm kind of calm, and plus I'm still kind of tired from... The turn up over the weekend. I'm trying to, you know, I almost canceled the show today, almost. But I knew you were coming, and I was like, you know what? We've been planning this for a long time because, you know, I wanted to introduce the people to you because, you know, like I said, I like the way you play. I've heard you play a few times, so I wanted to bring the music. So, with that being said, is there anything before we move on that you want to set it off about? People that just drive slow for no reason. <laughs> With like a football yard of space in front of them. Uh uh-uh. uh. And just be breaking with absolutely nothing in front or on the side of them. Yeah, those people you want to kind of get out the car and bang on their window because they're driving so slow or if they even pause. So My thing, you. and the funny thing is, it's like when you try to get around them, that's when all of a sudden they finally decide when to wake up and start flowing with the flow of traffic. That is like super annoying. I, I think I've set it off on that before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have because I have a horrible, horrible case of road rage. So, um, you know, try not to get arrested, but um, nah, I'm not gonna. Get, I don't have no bail money, so I, I can't do it. I just have to talk to myself because <laughs> I follow people. Yeah, that cut me off and oh. 
you know. You one of those. Nah, I get a little. Cr- I mean, it's just. Yep. Maybe I should. Well, they don't know my real name, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, people are crazy, especially right now. It's foggy in New York. So shout out to Cali and all the other states um, that are tuned in. Um, you know, the weather right now. Today's been like rainy all day and whatever, but. That's when people start driving like they have no sense. That's when you see the worst, when it starts raining. Basically. That yeah, and whenever, when it's whenever it's, whenever it, Well, sometimes when it's nice out, you still get the worst, but the ultimate worst is when it rains. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. All right, well, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much to set off on because I'm, you know, everybody was nice to me, I guess, so far because <laughs> I guess it's the birthday season. Everything's been going pretty good. So, um, all right, we're gonna move on. And um, again, the topic we're going to be talking about is burning bridges. Now, I want people to call up on this. I mean, it, it could be either way, like even the way you leave a job. Do you give two weeks notice or not? <laughs> you know? Well, there's certain circumstances. Yeah, so we we definitely are going to get into that. We're going to get into some more music. And um, when we come back, we'll, you know, get on the topic. And again, the phone number is 877-760-1422. And on that note, we ready? Yeah. All right. 